Okay, so this is the first time I'm doing like some sort of commentary thing over this, but whatever. So a long time ago, when Gecko was one time playing Fallout 4, I thought of the weird idea of Fred out, where it's Fallout but with Fred. So I made my character in Fallout 4 Fred, but this is, that's beside the point. So here I'm drawing the logo that I'm gonna use for it because I'm finally actually gonna like make it. And so here you can see like me thinking of ideas that are really bad. But so at this point, I was just trying to basically base it off of Vault Boy, but with slightly different things that make it more like Fred. <laughs> Sorry. And I don't know why I made his face look kind of fat, but this is how it ended up like that. And I don't know why I always imagine Fred like be being fat if he's not really. But that doesn't matter. So this hand, that's probably the hardest part, the thumbs up. I don't know why it was so hard to do. Oh yeah, so here, the pause, that was because the pen, my pen that I was using died. So here the hand was like really hard to do, so I just decided to trace over Vault Boy's actual hand and then just make it fit. <laughs> so I just, so as you can see here, I'm just tracing over that and then I just take it and just make it fit there. So, it's like a, whatever, like a Frankenstein monster or something. And then I just connect it, so. Here, I just, this, I think, I thought it would make sense to give him the vault suit, jumpsuit. And then I thought it would be more Fred-like if I gave him his actual, like, coat that he wears over top of that. And you don't see it yet, it'll be there soon. Um, I draw his bow tie there, too. So, just trying to make it look more like Fred than just an old version of Vault Boy. <laughs> so, here are the circle. This is where I messed up a lot. I couldn't find out how to do a circle shape for some reason. I don't know why. I don't know how I made that weird oval shape and thought it looked good. But I end up fixing it in the outline, which is going to happen here in a second. So, here I start doing the outline where it makes it look more clean because... That's how it works. And you can actually see how it looks more like Fred's jacket now instead of just a big mess. <laughs> Sorry. But, um, so the hand, once again, was kind of hard to do because I couldn't just, like, keep doing one continuous line or something. It, I, I don't know how to explain that. It's kind of confusing. And then this part, actually making it look like the vault jumpsuit underneath was kind of hard. I don't know why if the outline was already there, but it was still kind of hard. And then, I, don't, I still don't know why I made his face look fat. I just kind of noticed that when I was drawing it and just left it. So his head is kind of like a weird shape, but that's actually how my puppet looks, so just saying. Now you know these parts on the sides of his mouth? Yeah, that part ended up just looking really weird and I had to keep fixing it. And it just like messed with the entire thing. But eventually I just got it to like how it made kind of sense. And then here, I'm just outlining his face. And then I take, when I do color for it, I actually just take the color from the actual image and then use it so that it's not like a weird, messed up, slightly different color. So one eye is actually, I actually made it green, like the actual Fred. And then I made his coat, of course, the same color, because why wouldn't I? That'd just be weird if I didn't. And I probably couldn't find that color in the color wheel anyway, so. Here I'm just coloring in his coat and stuff. Yeah, there's not really anything too interesting about this. Now, soon you'll realize something that I messed up on, and you probably have noticed. I forgot to draw Fred's mustache at the beginning, so I'm gonna end up going back and fixing that. So here I'm just taking the colors and filling in the jumpsuit underneath. As you can tell, every time I get like a tiny mark into a, the wrong area, I have to undo the entire part that I just did and redo it because it annoys me. But now I can see more of the jumpsuit underneath, and I took that color from Fred's buttons because it's not exactly black, it's just a different color. And then just the color of his mouth because it's easy. So here, I just color in the skin because last time I tried to do something like this on like a DS, and when I took the color of his skin, it looked really bad, so... Glad that it actually looks like his skin this time and not like some weird 
other thing, but so here I'm just coloring in Fred, the color that he's supposed to. Okay, okay, just skip that. Um, so yeah, I got a mark in his mouth, I think, and then I had to undo that. So if you look on his mouth, well, if you looked on his mouth, then it looked kind of weird because you can see the eraser part, the erasing parts. And I go back later and erase that, but it's just a thing that's annoying me right now. So, yeah. There, see, I got rid of it. And then I ended up, like, trying to fix that because it kind of looked weird. And then I have to go back and fix it because, of course, I messed it up. And then I have to fix the hands and everything. And then I fixed the stupid oval thing that I made, see? Now it looks more like a circle and not that weird oval shape. There, see? And then I just fill in the background because I need to. And it can't just be white because that's boring. So I just make it the same color as Volt Boy's logo background, whatever. And there's a tiny mark on his arm that I fix later, but it's just really annoying for right now. And I try to cover it up in the video by zooming in more. So see, but whatever. So <laughs> keep messing up, but um, yeah. I'm just filling in all this part now, and then here's the part where I noticed that Fred's mustache is missing. So then I tried to draw in his mustache, and that just looks no. So I have to redo it, and it's really complicated for some reason to draw a mustache on a Volt Boy character. So there I just take the color and then fill it in. I just fill in the rest of that to make it all the same. So now Fred has a mustache, and he looks more like Fred. And then I have to do all the shadows exactly in the same places as the regular one because it's, it'll, it'll annoy me if it's not in the same place. But so I just take an, the darker color from the actual image and then just use that to shade it. And then it ends up making it look like it's regularly shaded. I didn't feel like shading the hair just because it, it looks fine. And then shaded the coat which I don't know why it was I messed up on that one part sorry Gecko's doing something right now but um if you heard that anyway I don't know so there that's what it looks like right now and I filled in that part here's the most complicated part here I have to I took the um like a font that was like all the letters in the alphabet and the fallout font and I tried to remake it I had to rewrite or draw the letters, which took way longer than it should have. Now you might think, oh, it looks easy. Why, why, why would that take really long? Well, because I accidentally wrote the outline for, for the letters on the same layer as the actual image. So there wouldn't be a way for me to get rid of the image and keep the outline of the layers. So after I do this, I just... Try to outline the E because I couldn't get it right, and then I just can't get it over there, so then it's just stuck. But, um, after that, I just end up mess just not doing that idea. And then I take, I just go ahead and just try to draw it, and it actually works this time, so yeah. And then I just continue writing the letters because, yeah. And you might not be one thinking it takes very it would take very long to do this because it's so simple, but it actually took me like almost an hour to draw this whole thing, especially because at one point the pen like died, and I had to wait for it to charge up more and actually be able to draw it. But yeah, so there's me drawing the O like the Fallout O thing with the weird logo whatever in it. And then, yeah, the U, it doesn't really matter. It's okay, and then there's... Okay, so here's the part where I realized that I messed up. So I went to color in the letters black, and I realized that I had put the letters on the same layer as the regular thing, so I just went ahead and kept coloring it in, even though I noticed that, just so that I, as I thought I could find a, find a way to get rid of the thing, which I ended up doing, but it was kind of hard. And it's not probably not the best way to do it. There's probably better ways. I just I'm not I'm like you. Just, I'm not it. I'm new to like drawing on like 
something that's not paper. So I can't just erase it. And you can't erase an image that you put in, so that wasn't gonna work. So I just did that. I tried to outline the things, but that didn't work. So, see, and then I got rid of that, and it just looks really bad. So instead, I tried to move that out of the way, but that didn't work. I tried to I looking around to see if I could find anything to use to get rid of it, but I couldn't find anything. See, that didn't work. And then I just kept having to try to do something, use all these other tools to try to get rid of it. Eventually, I decided I would take... One second. So eventually, I decided I would take the liquify tool and just stretch it out of the image so you couldn't see it. And then I just wrote the coming soon thing. So, see you all soon.